me. My name is Micah Vandegrift. Uh, this is Tally Tracker Explorer Communicated Scholarship and Digital Humanities on Public Surveillance. Um, I'm presenting with my colleagues Kelsey oui. Dufresne and Scott. Je présente ce projet avec uh, mes partenaires de Roche Haley et vamos a hablar un poquito cada uno. The internet is built on invisible networks of power, control, and data collection. Our recent projects and research aim to make those networks visible and material while simultaneously developing digital accountabilities and critical resistance to continuous and covert surveillance and data extraction. In the fall of 2020, we partnered with Sneakaway Studios, Joel Dietrich and Owen Mundy for an eight week creative residency to adapt their browser based game, Tally Saves the Internet, of which we're seeing a visual on the screen right now, into a virtual reality experience titled Tally Tracker Explorer. This project was part of our Andrew W. Mellon Foundation grant titled Immersive Scholar, which sought to establish a community of practice for large scale and immersive work in libraries, and also to establish good practices and guidelines for this work, expanding and stretching the parameters of what might be called scholarship, and a library's involvement in producing, distributing, documenting, and validating it. Exemplifying this, Tally Tracker Explorer, again, we're seeing an example of that on the screen right now, was designed as a public media art piece, technically and intellectually rich, but also aesthetically accessible and invitational. This project and other immersive scholar creative works critique systems of power and influence on the web, using the web and digital technologies as a medium. We were particularly interested in this project for its focus on the attention economy and surveillance in light of our shared global COVID year and the necessary reliance on technology for health and safety information and human connection. Partnering on Tally Tracker Explorer afforded us the opportunity to develop our knowledge in critical data literacy and also to magnify the understanding of the impact of digital scholarship beyond just our local community, as with other immersive scholar projects, to a truly global and internet connected audience. Thank you, Micah. And so now I'm going to be speaking to the significance of Tally Tracker Explorer. And we identify several key points of significance here, including its topic and content, its delivery and digital emphasis, its robust technical design and overall public accessibility to help inform internet users and promote data and digital literacies. With this said, we explore communicated scholarship sharing with a shift towards public learning where digital humanities and knowledge production are prioritized beyond the academy and its spaces. Through this, we have found great contribution in Tally Tracker Explorer and disrupting power as a critical, ludic and playful tool, hopefully as the video illustrated, on subverting surveillance, but also disrupting what has become our collective and normalized data experiences online. And so as Micah addressed, the shift from the local to the global is also important. And that we also see a breaking of the privileging of the physical. In this case, the traditional library spaces and our institution, our own institution's emphasis on wall and immersive screen displays. Tally Tracker Explorer rather prioritized online accessibility, subverting infrastructure systems, and that Tally Tracker Explorer was designed for the web first and foremost, thus allowing for a broader and more equitable access um, for the full public of the internet, which is limited in of itself, of course. But the hope is that this work will help more and more people learn, engage with the pressing issues of data and user surveillance, security, and autonomy in digital exploration. As Tally reminds us, surveillance and behavioral targeting is not normal, nor should it be a business model. Therefore, Tally Tracker Explorer is ultimately an intervention in our internet systems to disrupt surveillance capital systems. And so lastly, this project is an example of our program's focus on the development of digital scholarship outputs to reprioritize that which is recognized as valuable labor in academia, that which is most prioritized and rewarded for tenure track positioning, and the challenges of making large scale projects during the global pandemic, which has affected us all, 
and utilizing creative processes and projects to advance data equity and critical computation. And so thank you all so much for your time.